Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hope you guys are doing well. Hey, wanted to do another fun day in the life video for you guys. This one, we're gonna be talking a little bit about, what do we have? Uh, snow tires, I wanna finally uh, share with you guys the snow tires we invested in. I have to go uh, stake some of my commercial sites today and residential sites. To be honest with you, I totally let it go, but we're gonna be using the plow right, uh, plow stake markers, so can't wait to do that. And up first though, I gotta run to the mall. I actually have to buy a new iPhone. Uh, to be totally honest with you guys, my iPhone memory is completely full. As a social media influencer, there's like 16,000 photos on my phone, and I'm not about to go back through that and start deleting all those, because a lot of them I still use. A lot of them are like interactions with you guys, and. It's just crazy. So anyway, we're gonna go upgrade. Quick little early Christmas present to me, but then let's go talk about the snow tires. Let's go stake some properties today and hopefully we don't freeze our butt off because it's like 20 degrees out. All right, let's check it out. Make, make, make the ground shake. All right, man. Snow showers and snow flurries. Lord. All right. All right. Like I said, we got to get this day going because there's a lot on the books. In fact, last night, safety first. I was up till about two in the morning editing stuff for um, our training website to bring you guys the Entrepreneur Academy Live uh, event, which I'm just super, super excited about, super thankful for. And the content is fire. Uh, we got so many other things coming. Uh, launchpreneuracademy.com so i can't wait for that but man we gotta we gotta get moving today it's almost noon i slept until like 9 30. i'll be honest with you guys the winter is a completely different pace we're just as busy we're just as productive but it's a little bit more on our time versus uh running around and getting up at six and you know running crazy at 8 a.m engines blaring it's a little bit more relaxed time and um Honestly, let me know if this ever happens to you guys, but what happens to me is that it's kind of like back when you were a kid in summer, uh, back in school and you had summer break. You start getting up at like 10, you're staying up till about two in the morning, and then after another two weeks, you're like sleeping until noon, and then you're sleep staying up to about 4 a.m. And uh, it's fine, like you still do like the same 8, 10, 12, 16 hours a day worth of work, but it just starts like overlapping. And then eventually after about three months, Usually the cycle goes full circle. <laughs> it's just being real, that's not kind of how it works. So within about two or three months, it gets back to uh, uh, getting up at six and seven a.m. and we're ready to start the season all over again, right? So, all right, anyway, let's go uh, Let's go to the mall really quick, my local mall, uh, let's go check out an iPhone. I, I hate buying cell phones, man. It's just um, such a pain in the butt. I don't even want to. I don't even want to buy one. Hopefully they give me something for the one I have, but uh, I really do need more space to uh, make posts on Instagram and YouTube and all this other mess and um, first world problems, right? But anyway, all right, let's go check it out. All right, let's get in here. By the way, wow, chicka, wow, wow. Got some this Tesla. All right, which one do we get? 11, 11 Pro. Guys, I don't even know. Honestly, this is way more my cup of tea. We got the iMac Pro, or the iMac. This is what your boy needs to get. This is, uh, this is no joke. We started at like what, 1800 bucks? I wanna take my video editing and all that mess to the next level in 2020, so this is something that I wanna pick up. <laughs> it's only like 3500 bucks, crazy. All right guys, little transition here. Got all done with the mall. That was uh, expensive. <laughs> I uh, bought the iPhone X11, not the Pro, I don't even know guys. I'm not a big techie, if you guys are techies, God bless you. Uh, not exactly my style anymore. What I do want to show you guys though, uh, while I got a few minutes with you, it's really windy, is show you the new tires and then also the Plowright uh, snow stake markers. Um, so here's the deal with the uh, tires. First off, I say this all the time, and I know it kind of gets redundant, I'm sure, but thank you guys for the imp uh, input with helping me pick out snow tires. So. It came down to three selections, and there was truly, it wasn't like a, um, a different on price point, although it was maybe within five or 10% of the three different brands, but it came down between the uh, BF Goodrich uh, KO2s, the Toyo AT2s, and then for me, the Needle Ridge, uh, Ridge Grapplers. By the way, you know it's really cold out when I start mumbling or slurring my words, because uh, it's about 20 degrees out here. So if this helps you guys out and you guys get some value out of this video, please shoot it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out, it really helps the video. But let me show you the tires. 
We got these from Discount Tire. You guys can see it's a, uh, a pretty meaty tire. We got uh, 275, 65 R20s. Um, let me see if I can move the wheel out in a second here for you guys. But a really deep tread, man. Um, compared to the Michelin uh, ATs that I had, which was the upgrade that came with the FX4 package, um, this uh, tread has got to be twice as, aggr uh, as aggressive, to be honest with you guys. So, um, I will say this, I don't think these are a true snow tire where you get that three peak uh, little uh, icon. I think these are technically a uh, all-terrain or a mud tire like hybrid. Now this is a little bit softer of a material so it is more designed for the colder uh, weather, colder temperatures, but it's not like a true snow tire. We did pick them up at uh, Discount Tire. Uh, they're not sponsored or anything like that or neither uh, is Neato, but uh, I think they were like $1,450 or 1500 um, It wasn't cheap, but that was also with the certificates, the warranty, so if anything like happens on the tire, Basically, we just walk in and get a free replacement. Um, for the Black Friday sale, though, uh, we saved about 10%, I think, on any four new tires, which is like 140 or 150 bucks. And somewhere in between there, I think uh, we have a mail-in rebate that we uh, qualified for, which gives us another like 10% back or whatever it is. So uh, I don't have the paper with me, but it was something like 1,400 bucks for snow tires. Now. Uh, we haven't had any snow just yet, which kind of stinks because you know we've been sitting around for a couple days. However, uh, on the 10 day, there might be a couple snowstorms coming, which is going to be really exciting. So I will definitely keep you guys posted. I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Um, I'd like to know if any of you guys run the Needle Ridge Grapplers, how they're holding up for you guys with snow. Um, a lot of you guys commented that you got 50, 60,000 miles on them. Uh, it was a great tire, a lot of great traction. You could plow snow in two by four, which is kind of the idea to save the four wheel drive and just have a little bit more safety while we're plowing snow, just to be honest with you guys. Um, I had a couple people troll and say, well, call me, you know, go get the KO2s after you uh, only get the 20 or 30,000 miles out of the, the, gra the, the grapplers. That's fine, that's cool. I, I, I can't relate, I can't um, argue just yet on that point. Um, the idea for me is to run these basically November through April and then when April comes around I think it was like 75 bucks or 100 bucks to throw the uh, Michelin's back on since it's an all-season tire and why not there's still 75 80 percent of that tread left since we only got 25,000 miles on them let me give you guys another closer look of the tires the aggressive uh, tread somebody said it looked pretty thin for a tire it's uh believe me this is a good 10 12 inches wide I mean this is a pretty stocky tire it might look small on the truck but in person it's a it's a pretty pretty large tire um so any which way i'm excited to put them to work can't wait to see how they perform there you go that's the tire we went with the needle ridge grapplers if you guys do run them let me know love to hear your guys thoughts how they've held up for you so on and so forth let's talk about one other thing here and by the way uh this is a little bit of some sponsored content uh with these guys the plow right guys so let me see if i can open this all up not get it overly dirty because you know it's got to be pretty boy lawn care right can't be too too dirty in real life so this is the uh i don't know if you like call this a quiver or whatever you guys call it all the snow stakes go inside these these are the 36 inch straws the 36 inch plastic snow stakes okay i actually already have one that i popped in here we're going to be tagging some of our commercial sites today and tomorrow uh, yes, I'm a little bit behind the eight ball. We were finishing up cleanups and it's just been a, a backwards fall for us. So 36 inches, uh, they have these in blue, green, orange. Uh, I think it's about 24 inches, 36, and I think even 48 inch sizes. Um, it's about 45 cents a, a steak, which is actually pretty reasonable. If you also buy in bulk, that price definitely goes down. All right, hopefully, if you guys don't mind, if I flip the hood up, it's about uh, 25 degrees out. Real feel, it's probably about 17 degrees out right now. So if you guys appreciate these things, like I said, shoot a big uh, thumbs up. But let me show you this. The plastic straws, here's the, uh, the conundrum that I was in. And again, there's nothing wrong with the fiberglass ones. But here's the deal, is that when you have the, the fiberglass straws versus the plastic straws, and you take a plow over it, after about three or four different plow runs, the uh, fiberglass stake 
it usually falls out of place, it gets scooped up into the snow pile, uh, it just doesn't stand back up right. The snow plow stakes that are made out of the, uh, the straw, the plastic, generally speaking, I've noticed that they last a little bit longer and they don't get, you know, scraped up with the snow pile and or when they do, the snow melts, they usually stand right back up. So it gives you a little bit more uh, visibility and, you know, visibility is key when you don't want to meet Kirby. <laughs> Or that's what my wife calls Kirby every time I plow into the corner of the parking lot, right? So anyway, uh, this tool, this kit, it was like 170 bucks. The straw right here, as you guys can imagine, the stake goes right into the little uh, system like so. Got about the two inch tip. Let me show you guys, see if we can take you real time. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Slide it up. Bam, that's all you need. Super straightforward, super simple stuff. And again, snow goes on it, snow goes over it, plows backing up, stands right back up. A fiberglass stake, for the most part, it's gonna knock right on over. Now, here's a real cool thing a lot of you guys will appreciate, Brian's 10 partnership, right? So they will save you 10% if you use promo code Brian's 10 on the website. And again, I found these guys through Instagram because of you guys. So thank you so much. Um, I wasn't necessarily in the market for new steaks, but I saw a lot of the before and after videos with, uh, you know, I use fiberglass steaks. Nothing wrong with it. They've, they worked fine for a few years. But I do notice that about January timeframe, all my snow steaks are gone. They're, they're buried or they're knocked over and it is a little frustrating. Uh, so this is just something new I wanted to try and just kind of share a new product for you guys if you're in the market for some different snow stakes and trying to make your snow plow life a little bit easier. We'll leave some links down in the description down below if you guys want to check them out more. It's the Plow Right Snow uh, Markers. And you know what, the guys over there, I met the guy Eric, he's uh, one of the uh, partners, one of the owners, really cool dude. And uh, quite honestly, I'm really excited about putting them to the test. So we'll keep you guys posted as things continue with those guys as well. All right guys, well, let's do this. Let's jump back in the truck. Let's wrap this guy up. Like I said earlier, it's uh, it's been freezing cold. <laughs> and uh, honestly, uh, the 10 day, we do have some snow in the forecast, so I'm very excited about that. And honestly, beyond that, just enjoying some time with family, doing the whole deal, uh, I can't wait. So that being said, man, I'm cold. It's about 10 degrees out. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, shoot it a big thumbs up. Um, one thing, let me just do this real quick tail end that I wanted to talk about some different things with the podcast. Can we do that for about two or three minutes? Let me do this. Let me transition back to the house and we'll catch up with you guys there. All right, guys, it's been a busy afternoon, a busy day. Like I said, transitioning back into the apartment here and kind of wrapping things up. But wanted to talk to you guys for a few minutes about the podcast. And please do me a big favor. Leave some comments down below. Love to start uh, figuring out some ideas for content that are most, uh, most relevant and practical for you guys, very timely. So uh, I'm gonna have tons of guests on. We're gonna have uh, different YouTubers, different guys who run their own lawn and landscape company. Some of you guys on the podcast for sure. I'll reach out to you. Please don't just try to spam me in the comments. Hey, interview me or in the email. Um, I appreciate that. There's a lot of things that we gotta go through first to you know do a lot of content. But things like taxes, payroll, um, starting a business, college for the younger crowd, uh, those are all podcast stuff I wanna do and topics I wanna cover, so I can't wait. The podcast, uh, we have a lot of things moving in the background, uh, getting some ads made, some commercials made, and just like the, the intro, the outro, it's gonna be really, really cool. So. If you guys haven't left a comment earlier, uh, let me know if you guys use the plow right stake markers uh, or if you guys uh, have snow tires of any kind, do me a favor, comment on the videos, engage, please. It's a, it's a great time. Um, if you guys are like the kind of people that never comment, hey, don't be that guy, build community with us and let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. That's why it's there. So uh, it does help the channel, it does help the videos. So if you guys wanna continue supporting what we're doing, um, participate, that's what I always say. But I'm just having some fun here. But hey, let me know for real, some comments and some uh, Topics that you guys want to see, uh, maybe on some of the inaugural podcasts or something that we can, uh, you know, start chiseling out over the next two or three months before we get back into the regular season in March and April. Things that you guys think would be timely, helpful topics. So, all right, guys, that's it. Over and out for now. Appreciate you guys watching the videos. If you did, shoot a big thumbs up. If you guys want to watch some other great videos here from Brian and Brian's Law Maintenance, I don't know why I talk in third person, but here you go. Check out these videos here, guys, and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.